Until Tap happened. Isn't the one thing that I consistently do is keep you guessing as to what the heck I'm gonna play next? Well, um, today I've got something extra strange for you. So Facebunch Studios, who uh, they made Gary's Mod and uh, Rust, they have decided to release a bunch of their unfinished games as the sort of uh, prototypes pack that you can get on Steam if uh, they're distributing it free only for people who claim it and um, to be eligible for a key you need to own at least one face punch game on Steam. This isn't a cash grab, this is a way to verify you're a normal human. You can click here to claim your key. Um, I have not gone through that process so I don't know exactly what it entails. They, uh, face punch Studios mailed me a key for this so uh, you know, standard review copy disclaimer there. So there's a bunch of different games here and I guess I should note um, Facebook Studios did send me a key for Rust. Uh, I went and claimed it, but uh, Rust isn't quite my type of game, so I haven't really played it, but disclosure is disclosure. So there's a whole bunch of different partially finished or unfinished or canceled games here. Um, you can read this You can read this whole blog post. That'll be in the description. I'm just going to take a peek at just... I guess I'll just go alphabetically. It, it's a little funny for as far as a Steam you know, as far as what you'd expect, a Steam game, you, you just kind of, you know, it's just a folder with a bunch of different games, and it gives you this, uh, you launch it, and it opens this window, and, uh, what's new.txt. It's a little, uh, it's a little, what would you call that? Pledgy, but you know what? It's a bunch of prototypes, so it, it makes sense. Uh, Absorb has, oh, this is, huh. I did not expect the prototype to have online. Can I, there you go. Um, is there servers? Sure. I haven't played any of these. Um, I just thought this would be fun. To, oh. There you go. Is there any sound? I guess these are prototypes again, so you know. Um, entirely possible there will not be any sound. Is this like an agario sort of thing? Or can I eat this? Can I eat this? I don't eat this. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I guess I should have read the thing. Leaderboard. Everybody has 35. Are there guns? What are these red lights? What is this? Give. Give. What? Did I just gain points? I think I'm winning. I'm winning, guys! I don't know what I'm winning, but I'm winning it. Is, is that... Wait, no. I, I lost points? Why did I lose points? I should probably read the description. Wait, what? The f the meter is filling. No, that's just the boost meter. I guess it was. Is this like a King of the Hill sort of thing? Do I have? Am I the king? Where's the thing? What do I do? Okay, next time I'm gonna read the description on the blog post before I read the game. <laughs> I kind of, you know, usually a game does a good job of describing itself, but these are prototypes, you know. That's kind of one of the last, like, polish parts of a game, so should have expected that. I want to get these things. Why is my score... I don't... I guess I just got to vacuum up these things. No, no, get... come, come back, come back, eat, yes. What? Why do I poop diamonds when I eat these? Am I supposed to, do I do I eat the, the poop diamonds? Yes, I do eat the poop diamonds. Okay. You got to eat the red things and then you poop diamonds and then you're good. What? Excuse you. I like that name in the middle there. Name. All right, so that's some sort of like not quite king of the hill, but like some sort of objective you based. What is that? Hmm. Wait, spectate, settings, master volume. Oh, hey, it does have a con controller support. Ah, stop that. There you go. Spawn? But I'm already alive. Whatever. Oh, man, this, this prototype has better controller support than, like, 50% of games on Steam. That is, this actually plays pretty great with controller, at least considering, you know, limited controls. I have no idea what's going on, though. All right, that's enough of that one. Uh, disconnect. Absorb. Let's, let me read what was going on there. Uh, absorb, multiplayer. It's in development, so it's not necessarily 
oh, why couldn't I play on this thing? This is what I wa why I wanted to play because this this looks pretty cool. Uh, this game is one that started as a side project, is how I began to learn how to use Unreal 4, and then expanded on part of a prototype week. Roll a ball around, get huge, and use power-ups to absorb your opponents. I didn't seem to do the getting huge part, but... Alright, next let's play Beep. Multiplayer, I guess... I guess it makes sense that a lot of these would be multiplayer, considering um, face punches, you know, Raisin Detroit or whatever. Beep! Multiplayer Windows. Beep is an open-world driving game with dynamically spawning missions and customizable vehicles. Starting development is a week-long game jam inside the company. It recently shifted into full-time development with missions, activities, and being added to the game periodically. So you're going to get a peek at potentially games that will be released. Approval. What is approval? That's not Beep. It's Unity. <laughs> what is this? Is this a bunch of other, like... Revolver. Yeah, this must be a bunch of different little prototypes. Use the space bar. How do I... I don't think I was supposed to use all my bullets. Can I... Okay, I think I was supposed to not... Wait. Oh. Okay, I vaguely see what we're trying to do here. Uh, oh, it's an invisible one! Wait, can I move my thing? I don't seem to be able to move the thing. No, you can't move the thing. I, it's probably just a little proof of concept. Obviously, they're, they're, they're prototypes. They're... Oh, oh. Are we going to get lasered? We sure are. All right, let's get out of that one. So I guess they just crammed. Oh, WSD left stick, boost gravity, build momentum while boosting while falling. Hit incoming red balls before they reach the sphere. Boost gravity to start. Oh whoa! How do I? I see red ball. Oh gosh, there's a lot of red balls. How do I? I'm missing some sort of critical control. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's... That's kind of a head trip. That's... Woo. Wait. I think the right trigger is the gravity boost thing, but why can't... Can I really not jump any higher than this? I guess I just gotta wait for them to come. Oh hey, whoa! Oh wait, that is not nearly as close as it looks. How does this work? Wait. Is it not started yet? Whoa. What did I do? I think you gotta hold the gravity thing and then oh 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 god oh god okay okay no 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 gravity okay okay oh I see now okay whoa this is oh <laughs> okay this is kind of neat once you understand what you're doing it's still gonna be a little a little nauseating if you're not used to uh, whatever the heck this is, which you're probably not, but whoa, that's pretty interesting. I do think the tutorial could be a bit better. Basically, what you gotta do is you hold the button to boost gravity, and then you release it when you're about to hit the ground to bounce way off, and then you sort of hold it again to uh, bring yourself, you know, reel yourself in. I just want to hit all these red balls. It's a very unusual take on this sort of defense concept. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get thirty, and then I'm just gonna let things happen. I'm gonna wait. Is that not one point per thing that I hit? Oh, a combo is worth a lot more. All right, now I'm just gonna let them hit the thing. Well, I guess there's probably nothing too fancy. Whoa, can you miss? No, you cannot miss the thing. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm just gonna let him hit the thing. Take that, No Man's Sky. There, I finally said something about No Man's Sky. You can stop asking. <laughs> I'm not gonna play No Man's Sky. I don't even have it. I, um... 
It's one of those things where it's kind of in my wheelhouse, but it's also um, I mean, getting getting back up to speed is a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, it's kind of a definitely makes the game a little weird to get into at first. But once you got your jump going, game over. Press A to restart. See, that's kind of neat. Um, how do I get out? There we go. It's kind of neat that they just crammed all of these into one Unity app. Let's play Archaeology. Press A to start. Um, A? What do you mean? What do you mean? A is definitely not starting. Like I said, prototypes. Um, yeah, I don't think that one's working. Um, let's go back to Borderline HD. Hit space to play. What is this? Is this snake out? Uh, I have no concept of what just happened. Oh my gosh, it is snake out. It's snake out. You, you control like snake, but you gotta hit the, the, the glowy paddles and not hit the bad red things. The plun- oh, those, those are plungers. We're, we're getting plunged. There's, there's plungers and traffic cones. This, this is a t truly terrifying world. I was joking when I said snake out, but it kind of is. Right, I guess that's the gist of that one. Um, pressure chamber. When it says the who is the dev, I guess on the, on that too. Pressure chamber. What is this? Oh, once the thing reaches it, you have to skip. Okay. Name definitely makes sense. Okay, we have wall jumps. Houston, we have wall jumps. Okay, okay. No, give me the coins. No! <laughs> That's a neat idea. I like the name too. The name makes perfect sense. I was kind of wondering if that's what the. Uh... Oh, my head exploded because I landed on spikes. I kind of wondered if I was gonna die when that hit the the other thing or what. I like how you get just a bit. You get a peek at the next, the start of the next level, so you don't like you know, run into a hazard or something. Because you know this this differently colored bit is gonna be where you start the next level. Let's get over the spike. So yeah, the, the spike that I died on, you, I should have, like, you know, seen. Wait, that's bad. Okay. And you can get squished there, because, you know, you have to go into that, you know, this quadrant here. Alright. I think it moves a bit faster if you- uh-oh. Oh, oh dead. Those are not worth it. Those are not worth it. Alright. That's enough of that one. But yeah, we can see who. Relay, Revolver, James K. Oh, there's a little description that requires controller. Wait, I, I have a controller, though. I, I am using a controller. Let me get my Steam controller. I'm using the Xbox One controller. Maybe that's the problem. Hello, Mr. Steam controller. Ugh. Oh, sorry about that. A little loud. Nope, doesn't work. Right, let's turn that off so it doesn't interfere with other things. That's right, Parker. Let's put that over there. Yeah, it, it might work with a, a 360 pad and just not with an Xbox One pad. I've had some games do that. Renegade Action Commando. Does this have controller? Go, 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 space. What do we... Oh, oh it's like a... <laughs> It's like stick death. Hey, <laughs> it is stick death. Like, well, it's like stick death that is less crappy. Like that game, that thing, that, that, that stick death game. I'm not sure if stick death is still. Oh my gosh, this is exactly like stick death. Um, we even with the shotgun. Um, yeah, I never beat that stick death game. It was hard as hell. Also, funny story. I I thought all of like I thought all of stick death was games. And a friend of mine was like playing the videos. I'm like, oh man, can you even win in these games? <laughs> because they're animations that you can't win at. You know, because they're not games. <laughs> Got some face destruction, which is nice. Hey, hey! Oh, you gotta, you gotta shoot the bits. The exposed bits. This has the highest production values 
of like a crappy, like deliberately crappy flash game looking thing. Cause I mean, look at the face destruction. It's got like, yeah, look at that. Look at that, you can blow the flesh off their hands. It's amazing. Okay, let's calm down. This video is banned in Germany now, by the way. <laughs> this one's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, it's Hitler. Don't let Hitler escape. Okay. Oh my god, I have the worst gun ever. Hitler, Hitler! Don't escape! Oh, please don't send me the whole way back. Oh gosh dang it. Okay, okay. One more, one more try. I can't let Hitler escape, guys. <laughs> Look at their faces. There's a lot of good faces going on in this. There's a lot of good faces being removed in this. They're so excited to be shooting you. Alright. I like how we just immediately, like, we're using this magical elevator. Alright. <laughs> he looks so nervous after you shoot him. Poor guy. I would've won if the gun in that last level, like, it, it has this weird recoil that, like, completely destroys your control of the, the gun. Meanwhile, in this game, or in this one, you have, like, this crazy good gun. I'm so glad those guys don't fire very often. They're very. I think you can only hit the eyes. All right, all right. We gotta shoot Hitler, guys. And ladies. Ladies can shoot Hitler too. You know, it's a free country. I mean, Nazi Germany isn't a free country, but you, you, you know what I mean. Hey, I shot your foot, Hitler. No, Hitler, Hitler. I shot his foot. I shot two. I shot both feet. I shot both. Ugh. Oh. I'm sorry. Hitler is indestructible. It's okay, he'll kill himself anyway. Transporter. Or transposer, rather. I'm I'm bleeding. I gotta get money. Oh gosh. What what is what is that? That is the evilest 20 pixels I've ever seen. I'm just bleeding my oh, I'm glitchy. What is happening? Is this death? Oh my gosh, it's Oh that is so cool. Okay, oh, wait, oh. I can't go out that way because, yeah, okay. <laughs> so the game glitches out the more you go around and then you, whoa, okay. It's vaguely snake-like, but instead of, um, oh gosh, what? Where, where is it? it I, it's in the red, or it's in the pink. I gotta go, I gotta go, no, no, okay, here, no, okay, the blue, where's the blue, okay, it's in the middle, it's in the middle of the map, oh man, this is, <laughs> this is confusing, ah, oh, there you go, oh, dead, okay, that is a weird one, interesting though, maybe it's a metaphor? Yeah, that would have been. That would have been a good little flash game. Destructible bullet hell, space usurper. You know what? We're gonna finish up. We're gonna finish up the games in this Unity pack. Space destructor. Wait, let's. Is there something to read about this? Um, space usurper. Um, wait, that's this game, right? Why aren't? Why weren't these integrated into the? Hey, approval. Ever wondered who the poor app that approves mobile games, mobile apps for sale is? Approval would have put you in the role of that person. Wait, approval. That's not approval. This game eventually evolved into the next game. What do you mean approval? That's not approval. That's transploder or whatever the heck. I guess I got some typos in this. Um, approve. Oh, oh, oh! No, I understand. Appro Approver is like all of these different mobile games, like crappy mobile games, and you, you jump through games looking for bugs and sending them back to the developer. Oh, and then it eventually evolved into arcade. Okay, I understand. Okay, so that's why things are like deliberately crappy. Okay, I was, I was kind of wondering that once we got to the... Oh my gosh, it's Sinistar. What are we doing? 
Oh, it's like a voxel bullet hell. Okay. So we gotta get we gotta get to his weak point, I guess. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh oh. Okay, now we're fine. We're fine. Uh oh. Okay. Fortunately, we, we we're under no particular like stress. This is pretty easy. Is that it's is that the core? Seems like it. So I, I, I should I understand. I'll read. I'll read. Like I said, I was going to. Up. Oh. I'll actually read the um, concept of what we're we're playing next time. Yeah, I'll just finish up approver, and then we'll. Whoa. I'll probably have to do another video at least. So these are there's more of these and they're meteor than I thought. This is this is pretty cool. Uh, once again, this is the you know the face punch prototype pack. You can um, if you own any face punch games, you can sort of request on their website. They'll be this actually reminds me a lot of Endborn X on um, on mobile. Oh, dead. Uh, it's sort of a vaguely similar concept. It's got bullet hell. It's a bullet hell game with destructible bosses in a different sort of way. It's not um, well. It's kind of well, not. It's not pixel art, but. Um, it has these boss parts, you can you can kind of break them off. Oh, oh, oh. Those guns are very annoying. Okay, can I chip that off? Ha! But yeah, Endborn X has the same sort of... I was actually kind of debating doing a video of it when I uh, set up my mobile recording stuff. Uh, you can you chop off bits of bullet hell bosses, and uh, there's some different weapons options. It's a really cool idea that... It, it, it kind of has that cheap mobile game thing where it's like, it's, it's a cool idea, but th there clearly wasn't too much budget to it, and it's, uh, whoa. Whoa, it's freaking pissing red at me! Okay, calm down. Okay, I don't know if you can even predict where those things are gonna be. Alright, I guess I just gotta be a bit more careful than I was. Um, stay a bit farther away. Um, yeah, Endborn X is, is a really cool idea, but, um, yeah, it's just sort of an endless boss rush, um, randomized thing. It, it, it doesn't have a lot of the the meaty features that you might want from a more full-fledged shoot 'em up. But it costs like three dollars, so I guess that's a lot in mobile terms. But it it felt reasonable at the time. You know, at this point with mobile games, we're like. We look at, you know, a $3 game, it's like, you know, it, it's Monument Valley and it's $3, and people are like, Urgh, that why is this game dark spots up? Oh, I don't understand, it, it's the, oh, this is worse than No Man's Sky. Okay, I think this one has beaten me. It's, it's too much. Well, it's just it's so freaking random. Okay, I, I guess, I guess we can stay farther away than I am, have, have been staying away. If we could just cut off some of the red squares. Oh my gosh. Stop. See, when it does the thing, it's doing the thing. Mom, it's doing the thing! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. It, it, is it actually shooting more red squares the more damage I deal to it? Okay, no, it's... It, 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 sh it has less red shooters, but it, it sh they shoot more. Okay. Okay, we beat the thing. This one is actually really cool. Four and five. Was all right. So the red stuff has a lot more defense. This is this one's really cool. Like they could expand this to a real thing, not just to like a silly mini game, and you know approve or check out bad mobile games sort of thing. But I guess there's 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 a, there's a sequel to this sort of. So maybe we'll see. Well, maybe we'll see this idea again in the in the next thing, the arcade thing. Okay, it's a little bit of pressure alleviated. I guess I can just deal damage straight to it. Up, oh, not with that laser. Okay. You know, visually, obviously, it, it, it's a little on the side, but oh, freaking. If there's another form after five, I quit. But but I can do I can do this. Okay. Okay. I I can't believe how fast that was. I I could have done that a long time ago. Okay. Wow. Very strategic. 
path, you know, considering what it looks like. You just gotta surgically cut out the little bits. Come on now. Boop. Oh man, I don't want to stop playing. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. Whoa. I'll see if there's an end to this one. But this one I actually really like. This is quite legit. Almost to a half hour. I, I didn't expect to be playing this much on just this one silly prototype. I mean, even that stupid looking Hitler game, like, it, it wasn't bad, bad gameplay wise, aside from the. The gun you get in the last level is rudely terrible. Like, the last level is pretty bad. But just for some. Ah, oh, dang it. Just for some dumb fun, it's not really that bad. You know what this is also reminds me of? Um, oh crap, what is the name of that game? There's this game on PSP where you um, chop apart these big airships and you literally saw them apart and like big piece, the smaller piece falls off and you can sort of disable their weapons and stuff that way. It's a really cool game. Um, I believe it's only on, I think it might be a Studio Japan thing, like Sony Studio Japan. Um, but it's only on PSP, and it's really cool. Patchwork Heroes, that's what it's called. If you get a PSP, or I, I do believe it works on Vita, um, you might want to check that out. It's pretty cool. It, it doesn't play quite like this, you know. You, you actually run around on the spaceship. <sighs> Whoa, okay. Let's, let's take some of those out. Uh, I'm not liking those metal lasers. Do you, do you ever die? Did you ever die, my friend, or do I have to surgically remove you? Ah, oh, come on, that was that was rude. Okay, I guess we're gonna remove all of the red blocks things instead because they're much easier to remove than the other thing, the big lasers. Also, the music isn't too bad in this. Like this. For what's supposed to be, you know, crappy mobile game simulator. This is a pretty good one. Also, I do not see this game's controls working too well on mobile. I, mean, I, I guess a more standard shoot 'em up would work all right. So, you know, I played, I played some cave games on mobile. It's definitely the worst way to play them, but it's also the cheapest, I guess. So, whoa, I'm not even sure if they're still up. I think they're. I think they're, um, Andro- or not Am- they're, uh, what's it called? iOS only. Oh, I have a cursor! Okay, I wasn't sure exactly where my thing was. Okay. We got it this time. See, these are pretty intense. I don't know how many more of these are, there are, though. I don't wanna- I don't wanna go too long here. Oh, it's still not dead? Okay. Room 7? Oh. Up, up, up. Okay, we got one. Okay, the side bits aren't even really a big problem. Alright, this way. There you go! Yeah, that is that is really satisfying. It, it really is just like Patrick Heroes. I mean, it, it, gameplay. It, it it's a lot like Patrick Heroes in terms of you know you you cut off the parts you don't want to have to deal with. So it's actually pretty easy to deal with. See, hey, yeah. now it's harmless. I should play Patrick Heroes sometime. I guess it's a pretty it's a pretty underrated game. I gotta be honest, I did not know, um, what? I did not know that, uh, Face Punch did all of this, like, prototyping stuff. Um, so it's, it's really cool for them to open up with something like this. I, I've seen some game devs, you know, some indie devs on Itch.io, you know, just release, you know, random packs of, alright, there was, um, was it Slime Cat? There, somebody released, 
an ephemera pack that I was also meaning to go through. Can I just spawn inside? No. Um, yeah, somebody released something they called an ephemera pack that I was planning to do something basically just like this for where I would just run through all a bunch of different prototypes, so it's not exactly the first of its kind, but it's definitely the biggest like budget or whatever you want to call it studio. I mean, you know, highest profile or whatever studio that I've seen do something quite like this. And it's pretty cool, especially that we get like a little description of each of the things. That's really neat. Would you? Would you? Oh. Okay, had a I had a tiny heart attack there. Final form. Let's do this. It's the death square. That's no cheese block. Oh dang. I really like this. I hope they they got to turn this into something. You know? Okay, let's, let's cut that slice off. Oh man, it's like I'm surgically like operating on a piece of cheese that is trying to murder me. And I'm pretty into that. The intensest piece of cheese murder I have ever experienced. Dang it. Well, honestly, I'm not really that experienced in murdering cheese, so I mean, maybe it's always this intense. Maybe I should murder cheese more often. Who knows? These developers now. I don't think you can destroy the blue things by shooting them. I think you gotta chop them up. Like, chop them off? Oh my god. I have no idea how I survived that. Oh my gosh. This is so. Aww! Oh. This one's rude. This one's a bit rude, I must say. There's just so many bits to chop. Maybe I should just go straight for the, the heart? Okay, I'm just gonna go straight for the heart this time. It's, it, it seems to chip away some random bits as you deal damage to the heart, so maybe... Maybe some other parts of it will die as I do that. Or can I fly away? Okay, so the boss has gravity, and at about this point you can't go any further, and if I release the button I will actually get drawn in. So that's interesting. I can't see where I'm aiming, it's kind of a problem, oh god. Oh! <laughs> that was kind of close, okay. Yeah, why don't I just cleave it straight down? Just cleave an entire half of it off. Cleave is a great word that does not get enough use, by the way. Okay, okay. Especially cleaving in twain. That is a very good thing to do. We're gonna cleave this thing in twain. There you go! Twain! There are now twain pieces of this. So we gotta wait for the other half. Like half of these bullets, I just were fired before I killed half of the guns. So it's lighting it up. It's lighting up now. Oh my gosh! It's still not exactly easy. But... Oh my gosh! Please cut off some more of the guns. I swear the pattern is actually getting worse. This does not really feel much easier at all, honestly. Okay. If I could just keep my aim. There you go! Okay. Crisis. Crisis averted. Okay. Let's relax. We did it. Alright. That was really intense. That was cool. That's definitely my favorite prototype so far. Alright, I guess that's all there is to it. Um, Space Usurper was that one. That was, that was pretty great. Um, Alright, let's take a peek at the last three here. Candy Worm by Rila Kistosh. Eat blue candies to grow. For a bonus, eat them in a row. Oh, you, you're gonna rhyme at me? Okay, it's Snake. Uh, it's Snake, but the things move. Oh man, this is giving me- oh god, whoa. Okay, so it's a glitchy snake. 
I, I guess the glitches are the game mechanic in some of these. So that, that makes sense with the whole, you know, you're an app store approval person. And whoa! What are, are the, the are, I'm assuming the flashing ones are bad. But those are like bombs. I'm all about glitches as a game mechanic though. Wait. Are these... Did I eat? Some of the red ones? I don't think so. I don't know why those are doing in there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna risk it. Nope! Okay, it's like I thought. Those those are the bad ones. Alright, but we get we get the point. Candy Worm is now dead. Uh, let's play Bacteria Town. That sure is a Bacteria Town. Is this controller? Is this just... Just let this happen. We just lie back and think of the queen, I guess. I guess we just wait for the people to die from the horrible bacteria that's spawning everywhere. Okay, I can do that. I am professional at waiting and watching people die. I have all kinds of certifications in it. Are you, are you, are you not going to kill the people? I came here to watch the people die, you, you understand. Get, get Kill the people already. What? Did I do that? Or did the game do that? I think that happens when I press square? Or space? Oh no, is it just auto? Okay, it's just automatic. I don't think I have any control over this one. Don't fight back, I want to see the thing kill you! quite get the point of that one. Maybe that one's just supposed to be bad. I think this is a failed game, but it, maybe it can be salvaged. Laser grid. Oh, okay. Don't don't touch the lasers. Okay. Once again, no sound. That that what? Oh. What? Interesting. Oh, whoa. Okay. That's interesting. What is this? That's oh, just a box. Do I die if I get spawned on? Yep. All right. Let's. I'll. I'll beat my high score. I. I kind of. I get the point of this one. It's. Sort of interesting, but. Uh... Oh, so those just block. Couldn't I just like surround myself in these then? Like yeah. Uh oh, not because because of those I couldn't. All right, we've beaten my high score. Let's die. Boop. All right. I think that is all of what was that thing called? It's all to for that. Uh, approval. See, so yeah, I, I guess we got a lot more stuff to dig through. Untitled game. Yeah, we 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 only <laughs> we only played two games. Uh, wow. So there's a lot more to this prototypes thing than I thought there was, honestly. But yeah, I'll take another peek at this next time.